Hello everybody, uh, welcome to our Tuesday Reflection. Today's Reflection is from the book of Psalms. Psalm chapter 1, verses 1. Let's hear the reading of God's word. Blessed are those who do not follow the advice of the wicked, or take the path that sinners tread, or sit in the seat of scoffers. Blessed are those who do not follow the advice of the wicked, or take the path where sinners tread, or sit in the seat of scoffers. Brothers and sisters, this is the word of the Lord. Three people are described here. Number one, the ungodly or the wicked. Number two, sinners. And number three, scoffers or mockers, those who, who make mockery of people. The first book of Psalm emphasizes the distinction between the righteous and the ungodly. Here we are told that blessed are those who do not follow the advice of the ungodly or stand in the path that sinners tread or sit in the seat of scoffers. Brothers and sisters, in life there are three progression movements. We walk, we stand and we sit. If the people we are walking with are godly, then we begin to follow their godly principles. If the people we walk with, we stand with, are godly, we begin to be firm in our faith. If the people we sit with are godly, then we begin to be secure in our faith. We begin to uh, be firm in the things that we believe in God. The book of Psalm here is emphasizing the righteous and the ungodly. The distinction between the righteous and the ungodly. The righteous are those who believe in God and follow in his principle. The ungodly, on the other hand, are those who reject God and follow the devices of their own heart and the devices of the world around them. But you and I are Christians. We believe in God, the God Almighty. We are told here today that we should be righteous. We should walk with people who are godly as they will make us more godly. We should walk with people who are righteous because they will make us more righteous. If we walk with those who are godly and those who are righteous, then we will be standing and firm in our faith and we will be secure in our faith. We will be secure and we will, we will not be moved by the things around us. We will not be moved by the issues of life. We will not be moved by the things that move the people in the world. If we walk with those who are godly, they will help us on our Christian journey. If we walk with people who are righteous, they will strengthen us in our journey in faith. If we walk with people who are godly, they will help us overcome all the difficulties that life throws at us. Brothers and sisters, this day God is saying to us that blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sit in the seat of scoffers or mockers. Brothers and sisters, the ungodly are those who reject God and follow the devices of their own heart. So please, be careful and make sure that you are not walking with those who are ungodly. Make sure that you are not walking with those who are not righteous. And be careful and make sure that you choose your friends well. Choose those in your life that will help you to become more righteous, that will help you to believe in God, that will help you to believe in God and His principle, and that will help you to have eternal life. So brothers and sisters, this is the message of God to you and I today. The book of Proverbs tells us this, that trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. 
In all your ways, acknowledge God and he will direct your path. So as you choose those who are godly, as you choose those who are righteous to help you in your life, to help you follow God, to help you to become more righteous and godly, be sure and make sure to trust in God, to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. And in all your ways, in everything you do, Acknowledge God and He will direct your path. He will make everything straight for you. He will make all the crooked places straight and, and set the gates of bars asunder. He will make sure that He will open every door for you. He will make sure that He will push every barrier down that you're facing. So as you trust in the Lord and acknowledge Him in all your ways, may the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you on Thursday. <laughs>